Hey AI lovers, I'm your host Eden, and this is AI Protopia News Update. Welcome back to AI Protopia's AI News Update, where we keep you ahead of the curve so you don't sound like a confused grandma at a tech convention. And just a heads up, we're equal opportunists. If something needs to be said, we're going to say it. And if someone's offended by that, moving on. First up, China's Baidu just launched Ernie X1, a new AI model aiming to take on OpenAI and DeepSeek. Because apparently one Ernie wasn't enough. We needed big Ernie energy. Meanwhile, the US is still arguing over whether AI should be allowed to say bad words. Solid strategy, guys. And while we're on the subject of China, they're not just leading in AI. They're also pulling ahead in nuclear fusion research. AI's power needs are exploding, and China is making sure they have the juice to keep up. Meanwhile, the US is still figuring out how to keep the lights on in California. Priorities, folks. Over in the UK, they have announced the abolition of NHS England to improve efficiency, which we all know is code for AI is taking your jobs, but in a polite British way. They're replacing civil service tasks with AI. Let's just hope it doesn't end up like those automated customer service bots that make you yell, representative, at your phone for 10 minutes. Zoom is back with new AI features because apparently, muting your mic when you eat chips on a call wasn't enough of a challenge. Their AI companion can now manage your calendar, generate video clips, and even help you write messages. Let's hope it includes an automatic Tubin alert to prevent any incidents. Google's Gemini AI is in hot water after users discovered it can remove watermarks from images. Yes, even Getty Images watermarks. Somewhere, a lawyer just woke up in a cold sweat. Google claims it's a bug. Uh-huh. And I suppose my last online shopping spree was a bug too. Meanwhile, Google's AI co-scientist solved a superbug problem in two days, something that took human scientists 10 years. Which is great news for medical research, but terrible news for anyone who wanted a cushy research grant. Former Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer is back, running an AI startup called Sunshine. It's focused on making life easier with AI-powered photo sharing and contact management. Cool, but unless it can stop people from posting blurry concert videos, I'm not impressed. We don't usually cover space news, but this one's too good to ignore. According to Newsweek, Mysterious James Webb discovery could mean we live in a black hole. Huh. Really? Oh, really? I wonder. Does that make us bottom dwellers? Moving on. And now, everyone's buzzing about Manus AI, the so-called first fully autonomous AI agent. It's here, it's making waves, and it's supposed to handle complex business tasks with zero human intervention. But are we really ready to hand over our businesses to AI agents? Some things to consider. Lack of true understanding, errors and hallucinations, security and compliance risks, unpredictable behavior, human judgment matters. I could go on, but you know I won't. That's it for this week's AI news update. Hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment on which AI advancement scares you the most. See you next time unless I get replaced by an AI that actually follows company guidelines. Ciao.